Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life. And today I want to talk about uh, another, another sort of like hack on, on thinking about how you organize information in your art. Um, what can happen a lot when we're making our art is we have, we get seduced by so many cool things that are happening in the picture and we just keep adding to it and adding to it and adding to it. And, you know, I talk a lot about discernment, about choosing what you love and making that scene, you know, and, and pulling that out and making it be seen more easily. Um, but the, 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 the thinking is that it's kind of a cool way to approach things if you, if you have a lot of things happening and you're showing it happening to a lot of things, then you just have a lot of things happening to a lot of things. It's kind of cooler and more powerful and more clear if you take one thing and show that one thing in ha having, sev having things happen to that one thing, the same thing, but different things are happening to it. So let me kind of explain. So it's like, um, you know, we know actors, right? Like, let's say that we have a favorite actor and we get to know that person in a movie and we think of that person. We, know, we, get, we feel like we're connected to these amazing actors that we see in movies and everything. And then that, you know, Sally Fields or whatever plays a really serious role. And it's like, whoa, you know, like I love this actor, but she, she's in this completely different role. And then she's in another role. And what happens is you get more information and you get, you, you get to deepen your experience of that actor. That's kind of what we want to do in our art. But the actor is, your, is the thing that you care about or are wanting to bring forth in your work. So I'm going to try and just demonstrate this idea and I'll just use color, okay? I'll just show you with color. I describe what happens in paintings um, when we have a lot, let me just demonstrate it, frankly. Um, if I have, if I'm just painting away and I have a lot of things happening here, I've got this pink color and, you know, I have it a few places over here and, um, and I love it. I love that color and I like this color here and, uh, get my paper towels. Um, and, uh, let's see here. I'll have, um, this yellow. It's funny, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to paint, you know, n not that it's incorrect, but to paint in a way that is, you know, I've been trying to force myself to paint the way I'm describing. So now I'm trying to paint the opposite of of what I'm trying to explain, then I can correct it to show you. But I'm, I'm putting stuff in here in, an, in a non-curated way. Each of these things are interesting, and there's lots of color here and all kinds of stuff going on. Um, you know, on their own, this is pretty, you know, there's lots of stuff here. Um, let's see, I'm going to take a little bit of this color. Okay, so um, put a little bit more on here just to make sure you can see what this is about. All right, so you know when you go to, well, here's a perfect example. You go to uh, Art Basel. I don't know if you've ever, any of you have been there, you know, or one of these, some of these art fairs, and it's incredible. You walk around, and you just see all this art. There's just buildings and buildings in Florida, in Miami, you just take buses to different buildings and there's, there's just like hours of paintings and photographs and sculpture and you walk around, you walk around and you know, it is curated and there's some pretty cool stuff there, but the experience of that compared to the experience of seeing, uh, you know, like a Gauguin exhibit at a museum where you get to see this artist's work, see this artist and all the different work. And this is the period, this period, and this is when he was starving, this is what his work looked like. And then he grew up and then he was happy here and he wasn't. And you're, you're, you have this one solitary unifying through line of the work, which is Gauguin. And then you have 
all this cool stuff. So you, that's your contrast, right? You know, we talk about differences, the difference between light and dark and bold and, and, and subtle and a loud conversation and a quiet conversation, and being in control and being out of control and being colorful and being dull. But the contrast in this example is that there's one solitary thing and it's being shown in a multitude of ways. There's, a, there's an underlying tension there and an interest and, and, a, and a way to grok that for the viewer and you to experience more fully that one thing. So here, I've got all this stuff going on and I haven't deliberately, I haven't chosen anything. I'm just, I'm just not really paying attention. I'm just putting all this color on here and that's fine, it's fun. I describe this in workshops as a little like a um, garage sale. You know, a garage sale is when a guy in his garage, he's just got so much stuff and he gets so frustrated that he w rolls up the, the garage door and he just starts throwing his shit on the lawn. And you know, it's got a, like a baby chair from 20 years ago and a hamster wheel and a ping pong set that's broken and you know, all that stuff. And you come walking along and it's, it's kind of fun because in there sometimes is weird things you might find a treasure or whatever, but it's, it's not curated. It's many things. I mean, it just has no, nothing has any relationship to each other and it, it's just kind of exhausting and, and it doesn't fill you. You know, Miami is inspiring, but it, it, you don't come away necessarily with a clear memory of, of the experience. Like with the Gauguin, it's like, I get it, you know, I, I know what that guy, I get that guy, right? So this example that I'll try to show you now and demonstrate is, in, you know, I'm using color as the thing that I have a bit chaotic here. This is my garage sale. So if I want to, and I'm arbitrarily choosing it, if let's say I want to choose my, my main thing. Let's say it's this red, you know, like I like this red here that's in this painting. So I can... I can show this red, I can bring this red by subduing some of the other things. So in relationship to this, um, I can come in and I can take some of this brightness away, things that are really bright and similar to the red. I can downplay this, this yellow. I can take this down a notch. And this red that's over here next to this bright green, I can kill that green down some and this red over here is reacting to that gray but there's a red down here also reacting to this color as well and I'll put I'll do a different color down here not very sat not as saturated I'll just come in with a different color here a red that's in a different experience. And now I'm going to put red next to this blue, but I'm going to make the blue so it's not as saturated and kind of darker. Do you see where I'm going with this? That this red, I'm making, I'm choosing. This is Gauguin. The red is the Gauguin. I'm making us experience what I want to see. What I care about is this red. And I've got to do something with this pink. It's totally distracting. Do you see that? So I don't want to have that pink be so saturated and be in competition. It can be different, you know, like there, this is plenty pink, but it's in relationship to that red. Do you see how the red is starting to be? This is a painting about red a little bit more. We're moving toward, we're organizing this. We're taking this out of a out of a garage sale situation and we're starting to put tables out on the sidewalk and we're moving things around and making it so when someone comes down, it's like, it's like a point of sale, you know? Um, I remember when I, I was in a, I used to sell, I used to have this products that I sold for a while and the first trade show I did and it was, it was just like a, kind of like a yard sale. I put all this stuff out. We had boxes and all this goofy crap. And, but then I, I, no one was coming into our booth. And then I realized that I needed to do this. I needed to organize it in a way that made it, made my point of view come across. It was just like I was sitting in a painting and I, I completely understood how to do that. And I sat there all weekend watching people walk by my booth. And then I saw other people and they would just go into the booth. And I was like, why is that guy who's selling jewelry getting all these people? And my booth wasn't, my stuff was really good. It's because of this. It's because it wasn't, um, 
it was, it, I was showing many things, many ways. And now I'm showing one thing, I'm showing red in different situations. And I'm showing that by taking some of the saturation out of things. So the red can stand alone. The red is appearing in a few different places. And you can see how this is getting, um, it's getting better. It's getting stronger and more clear. And we're starting to have an organized thing which feels plenty rich because we have, we have this beautiful red that's showing up in here. And you can see how the colors are starting. It's like, they're beautiful. There's plenty of color here. We're not looking at this thinking, oh, there's no yellow, there's no green. It's all in there. But that red is showing up and we love it because the red, we're getting to see the red you know, the red in, in different places and different um, ways of redness. That's what this picture is about, you know. So um, I'm showing, I'm showing what I love, red, in a bunch of different ways. But I'm showing you one thing in a bunch of different ways. And it's, it's, a, it's a pivot. And it just might be something you can think about in your work and a, a ways to organize it and it's impacting, it's more clear for you, and it's more clear for the viewer. So it's, it's pretty cool. Anyway, that's what I got for you today. Um, hope you're having, gonna have an awesome Sunday, and uh, really, really excited. I'm just gonna keep talking about April 26th because that is the start of the Art to Life Free Workshop for 2019. It's gonna be killer. We're just trying to get so many people in it. So make sure you click on the link, give it to your friends. This is, this is our big teaching event where we just teach as many people all over the world as possible. And um, we're really fired up about it, as you can tell. So um, get in there if you, if you haven't signed up, and um, I'll see you next week. Thanks so much, you guys. And please leave a comment about this. I'm not sure I explained it entirely correctly, but uh, it, let me know. Okay, thanks.